Hello, so today we're gonna have this BF109 G4. Since everybody nowadays is obsessed with Messerschmitts, um, <clears throat> we're gonna review a small Messerschmitt from Mark 1 models. And as you can see, this kit is so called 2 in 1, uh, which means there are two kits in one box. And this kit is 144 scale. It's written here, it's Gustav 4. On the front we have this nice photo of the aircraft, or it's even picture, I don't know, <coughs> maybe painting. On the sides we have some safety information, another safety information, here is address of the company. And here we have uh, marking options which are included in this kit, there are four of them. And as you can see, they're pretty interesting and even include this trope option of the Gustav. <coughs> so it's side opening box. <coughs> um, in the inside of the box we find this nice bag which is sealed, sealed with a zip lock and there are two sprues with the same kit. Uh, manual, decals, clear parts, even some resin parts as far as you can see. So we're gonna check one the one sprue because still it's the same. <coughs> but we will check all other parts of this kit, of course, one by one. So I would put it here so you can see. Let's begin from um, sprue itself. It contains all necessary parts which you would need to assemble this model. Uh, I have to mention that it's former Eduard kit, which is which was upgraded by Mark One models. As you can see, Venus molded really nicely. It features even some detailization on the view wheels. Uh, radiators are molded in. There are of course no see-through vents. <coughs> Surprisingly enough, huh? And. Landing gear are also molded with the gear doors all together. What else? There is uh, there are two options for the air intake. Uh, fuselage halves, as you can see, would be positioned to each other with the help of this uh, small pin. Of course, there is no cockpit digitalization and. You won't even have to insert any cockpit seat, pilot seat. There are um, option for uh, underwing gondolas. Uh, propeller is molded in with the blades integrally. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, here we have a fuselage itself. Have it zoomed in so you can see the digitalization of it. And now you see it. So we have exhaust molded in the fuselage. Tail wheel is also molded in. Mm. And it's pretty much all. And here we have the Edward sign. So really nice molding. Should look nice. And I have to mention that you don't have to glue the wing because it's molded as a single part with the top and bottom parts. So no seams. So we have next a decal sheet, which also features some stencils and all the signs which you would need for the for four marking options which are available in this kit. <coughs> so it's the same sprue, totally the same as you can see. There are two canopies. <coughs> I would show just one. So it looks like this. It's really small. Don't forget the scale of this kit. It's small, but it's nice. It has all the lines 
which are familiar for this airplane. <clears throat> and of course it offers only close canopy option. Next we have some resin parts. As far as I can see, <laughs> these are the cockpit parts. With, with some, I don't know, what are these parts. <coughs> but you can see them here. Uh, sorry, I will put one and show it to you. So here we have a cockpit, which is really basic, just only the seat and the dashboard and it's really approximate representation of real cockpit. And here are some parts, I think it's <coughs> wing bulbs, but we would see in the menu. Let's open the menu and check it. So manual is printed in color, features black and white instructions on how to assemble this model, yeah, those resin bulbs are inserted on the wing. Uh, cockpit as you can see is assembled when you cut it out, this step, and otherwise it's really simple assembly. And here are once more explanation marking options which are available in this kit. Really nice. <coughs> so what can I say? It's a really nice kit for 144 scale and it's better for example than the real analog. Uh, not real, real analog of course and it should look nice if you would assemble it carefully and those resin upgrades are really nice the only thing which I would like to see on this kit maybe uh, is a P parts or maybe masks for such a tiny canopy because it would be a lot of work to cut out those small pieces of masks so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel uh, or check the full articles for the airplane on our website as usual. Thanks, see you again soon.